hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 6 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of x is equals to 11 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here we solve this problem for the positive integer values of x and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and uh, here the very first thing we are going to do is uh, first uh, we need to multiply and divide the exponent of both of these two terms by 2 and it will be written as 6 to the power of x and its whole exponent is 2 over 2 minus this is 5 to the power of x and its whole exponent is 2 over 2 is equals to 11 and now here further in the next step uh, we move uh, this 1 over 2 inside that term and we know that when you have exponent to the exponent then these exponents are multiplied by each other so here uh, we obtain 6 to the power of x over 2 and its whole square minus from here we have 5 to the power of x over 2 and its whole square is equal to 11 and now here in the next step uh, we need to uh, convert this exponential equation uh, into the uh, polynomial of two variables form so for this uh, we will take the base of this term is equals to a so we have a is equals to 6 to the power of x over 2 and we take the base of this term is equals to b and it is equals to 5 to the power of x over 2 and uh, further in the next step when we substitute mm, these two values into the above equation uh, so it will be written as a square minus this will becomes b square and this whole equation is equals to 11 and here uh, we know about that uh, we have a very nice famous algebraic formula this is a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and this whole equation is equals to 11 and now here in the next step we need uh, you see here in the left hand side there are two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor uh, so here first we need uh, to convert uh, our right hand side into the product of two factors so for this we uh, will find any two positive integers whose product becomes 11 so we have there are only one possibility in which we have 1 multiplied by 11 is equals to 11 so we have this is a minus b times of a plus b is equals to 1 multiplied by 11 and now here in the next step we need uh, to compare both of the sides and when we compare both of the sides it will be written as a minus b is equals to 11 and a plus b is equals to 11 so the a minus b equals 1 and a plus b is equals to 11 so we need to solve uh, these two equations and here we will get the value of a or b because uh, we need just only one value of both of these two variables uh, because when you move backward and you put this value we easily get the value of x so here uh, in order to find the value of a here first we add equation number one and equation number two so when we add both of these two equations it will be written as a minus b is equals to one and a plus b is equals to eleven so here uh, when we sum up uh, both of these two equations we have this is negative term and positive term are gone and a plus a becomes 2a is equals to 1 plus 11 becomes here 12. so here our target is to find the value of a for this we need to remove this 2 from left hand side uh, so that we divide both of the sides by 2. this 2 and 2 are gone and this is 2 times of 6 becomes here 12 and we easily get the value of a is equals to 6 so this is the only one value of a and uh, further because here our target is to find the value of x so that's why 
uh, we just uh, uh, back we just move backward and we substitute the value of a so in the start of the problem we will take our a is equals to 6 to the power of x over 2 is equals to 6 and here in the right hand side you see here the exponent of this 6 is 1 and we see here the bases on both of these sides are same so here we use this exponential law if you have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n if these two bases are same then uh, we equate its exponents so its exponents will become here m equals to n and when we equate its exponents it will be written as x over 2 is equals to 1 so this implies that here we move this 2 uh, from left hand side to the right hand side so this is 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 so this is uh, the value of x which we get here in this method so here uh, in the next step we need uh, to verify that uh, is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not okay uh, so for uh, verification of this value we need to copy down uh, given question statement here so that our given question statement is 6 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of x is equals to 11 and here we need to substitute the value of x into the left hand side and when you put it here it will become 6 square minus 5 square is equals to 11 and here we need uh, more simplifications uh, uh, to verify these uh, the both of the sides so we have the 6 square becomes 36 and 5 square becomes 25 and this whole equation is equals to 11 so when we subtract both of these two values we easily get 11 is equals to 11 this shows that both of the sides are equal and if both of the sides are equal uh, we conclude about that x is equals to 2 be the only one solution of the given equation so that we have the solution set of this problem is x is equals to 2 so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos